how to make sodium carbonate from sodium bicarbonate. In other words, how to make washing soda from regular baking soda. And why would you want to do something so insane? Well, if you're like me and you make a lot of caffeinol to develop your film, like my x-ray film, you're going to want a lot of sodium carbonate because that is a major player in caffeinol. Making your own sodium carbonate from sodium bicarbonate could not be easier. Essentially, all you're gonna do is bake this stuff off in an oven through a little act called sublimation. Sublimation, if you don't know, is when you take a solid bit of matter, make that into a gaseous bit of matter without going through the liquid phase in between. So we're gonna be sublimating off dihydrogen monoxide, water, and carbon dioxide from the baking soda, thus turning it into sodium carbonate. So after we boil off the water and the CO2 from this, of course we're gonna have sodium carbonate. Fun fact, if you add some hydrogen peroxide to that sodium carbonate, you get something called sodium percarbonate, which means you've got oxyclean. To get started, we're going to preheat the oven anywhere between 400 and 450 degrees. From there, your tools are going to be alarmingly simple. You need some sort of baking ready pan or dish. I'm using a Pyrex glass casserole dish. And of course, you need your baking soda. This Arm & Hammer or anything else will do. Make sure your vessel, whatever it happens to be, is clean. Dump in your baking soda. Something really interesting to note here if you feel the texture of your baking soda, it is relatively granular, um, like really fine salt. After it goes through the sublimation process and turns into sodium carbonate, it will become an extremely fine powder, kind of like co kind of like powdered sugar. So after you have your baking soda in your baking dish, wait for your oven to come up to temperature. I'm going to bake this at 420 for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna take it out, give it a nice light stir, and then put it back in for another 30 minutes. So about an hour total. You can't over bake this, but you wanna make sure you leave it in there long enough and hot enough for all that water and CO2 to sublimate off. Okay, 30 minutes is up. I'm gonna give our powder a nice little stir with a good clean fork. Key is to just liberate as much of that water and carbon dioxide as possible. Probably hard to tell on camera, but the texture of this has changed dramatically. It's much finer now. I'm going to put this in for another 30 minutes, which, you know, is probably ready now. The stirring step is not necessarily needed, but I like to be as thorough as possible. See you in 30 minutes. So the baking soda is now most certainly washing soda. Texture's changed all the way again. I'm going to try to bust out a little bit of the clumps as I stir it. Just to liberate a little bit more of any remaining water and carbon dioxide. I'm going to turn off the oven and just let this cool. Cool down. our freshly minted sodium carbonate or washing soda has cooled. It is an exquisitely fine grain powder now. So we're going to transfer that into something to store it in. I use a highly specialized used molasses jar. But uh, all kidding aside, you need something that is preferably airtight because this will absorb moisture uh, extremely readily. Uh, you don't want to leave it in the oven too long because, like I said, it will absorb any ambient humidity and clump, and you don't want that. 
So as soon as it's cool, transfer that over into your storage container. Oh, and just a quick tip for you. If you happen to not have a wide mouth jar, get a piece of paper, a piece of typing paper, make sure it's clean. Just lay it right over the lip of the jar and just spoon your sodium carbonate right onto the paper. It'll act like a little makeshift funnel. And everybody is going to be happy. Happy washing soda. Happy sodium carbonate. All right, so that is about as much as I'm gonna put into this jar. I'm going to cap that off. And that is completely ready to use to make your caffeinol. Hope you enjoyed this uh, admittedly little impromptu instructional video on making your very own sodium carbonate. Incredibly useful skill to have folks if you're a home developer or if you just want something to give your washing detergent a boost. It's super easy to make your very own sodium carbonate from just plain baking soda. I'll add the reason I do this a lot is because my rinky dink local stores they don't carry washing soda for whatever reason so i'll add that you can actually buy this at more than likely anyway from your local stores but like i said it's actually sometimes a little cheaper a little bit more fulfilling to make all of your development chemicals from the ground up thanks a lot everybody see you next time